Yum, yum. All right, so Greg from Pixel Fondue here. I'm here with Adam from AMD. We've got a whole like menu of new hardware here, it looks like. Yeah, let's go through the ones at the top here. Yeah. So these Radeon Pros, uh, are these just, uh, these are really little. They are small. So uh, what are these, what are the top ones used for? Right, so these are uh, mostly for entry and mainstream uh, CAD and, and AEC workflow. So okay. if, uh, certainly we have people uh, uh, running uh, you know, commercial video editing and, and compositing uh, as well on those. So that's a display card. Yeah, that's really little. Well, you guys must have a nice... Well, we continue to shrink the uh, the silicon, and that just means that we can provide you know really good performance in smaller and smaller smaller packages, which consume less uh, electricity, which okay. generate less heat. Typically, the CAD programs that require as much GPU power as the rendering engine or some of the heavier uh, texturing programs require more memory. So if you're in SolidWorks or something like that, maybe you're going with one of these guys. And then we're stepping down here to the WX7100, 9100. Now, is this something you'd use ProRender with, or are these some suitable GPU rendering? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you can use ProRender with anything. Uh, it runs on, on any device, uh, in ours or our friends in green. The green guys yeah. Yeah. run on those too. That's so right. ProRender doesn't matter what GPU you have. It's, right. good it's pure OpenCL. But uh, yeah, these are uh, pretty much made in the middle of the road and uh, into the high end of our uh, okay. our Radeon Pro stack. So, uh, like, how much memory would a WX9100 have? This is a 16 gig card. Well, that's that's middle of the road. That's, that's quite a bit of RAM. It also uh, includes uh, HBCC, which is our high bandwidth cache controller, okay. which enables any application that goes over the amount of memory on the on the graphics card. Allows you to very quickly at low latency stream and use the, uh, the system memory. So if you run out of all 16 gigs, it'll stream off the of that the system memory, and then you have a high bandwidth connection for that. Yeah. Well, wow. it uses the PCI PCI Express. So Express. Yeah, the X16 slot or something is, is going. For but it. essentially that. Remove the limitation of uh, VRAM right. from. Uh, so we have a ton of textures in your scene. You don't have to worry about overloading it. Because right now, I'm using Octane Render or something like that. I'll, I'll sometimes get the out of memory. Yeah. You know, maybe use a lot of 4K textures or something right. like that. Um, so it's like you got a eight pin connector, a six pin connector. So you probably put two of these in the system pretty pretty comfortably. Oh yeah. Yeah. As long as your power supply supports it. Uh, so what is the, how much RAM does the 7100 have? Uh, that's an 8 gig card. That's an 8 gig card, so that's actually plenty for a lot of rendering right now. I yeah, think, uh, yeah, even at 4K with, with fairly big textures and, right. and, and pretty good complexity uh, in the scene. That's a single slot card. It is. Yeah. A single slot card, 8 gigs of RAM, so you can pop, it only has one 6 pin connector on there, so you can probably put three of these in a the system if you got the PCI slots for it. Certainly could, yeah. That's pretty impressive. So it sounds like you guys are not just looking for more power, but you're being space conscious as well and trying to get a little more uh, density in terms of your, your power. Yeah, yeah, we'd like to make the, uh, the packaging uh, as efficient uh, as possible. Well. All right, I like the blue color. That seems new for Radeon. Is that just a these series or is that on a previous one? Uh, so we rebranded to Radeon Pro a couple of years ago. And so Fire Pro Red went away and, and Radeon Pro Blue is in. Good. All right, so we got the big guy at the bottom, Instinct. Tell us a little bit about that. So, Radeon Instinct uh, are our line of uh, uh, server-based uh, GPU devices, uh, designed specifically for use uh, in the server, uh, you know, HPC or uh, any other server-side compute. So those may not have a video output on the back, or do they? They don't. They don't. So those are strictly compute cards, you put them in a rack, or maybe, it, can you pair one of these with one of these if you, you had a could, workstation? You could, actually. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And how much RAM does that have? I believe that is a 32 gig card. Um, you know, I don't. I, that is not my product line. So, are those out? Um, some of them are. Uh, so uh, probably at least 16. Maybe is not. Uh, I can find someone to talk to about that. Okay. Um, you know, I've only been back to AMD and it come for a couple of months. So. Uh, that one caught my eye. So they got compute cards and uh, the WX9100. So. So the mainstream high-end content creator card is probably these two guys here. Yeah, we actually just launched the uh, W8200, WX8200. It's not here. Um, it's floating around here somewhere. That's oh, so between these two. It is. It's, uh, it's almost the same performance as our uh, higher-end 9100. Okay. Uh, it's eight, eight gigs of, uh, of memory, uh, but virtually the same price. 
a thousand dollar card. It's it's really probably the, uh, it is the fastest uh, professional graphics card under a thousand dollars. Under a thousand bucks, eight gigs of RAM. Is it uh, two slot or one slot? Uh, it's a two slot. Two, two slot. Yep. Um, and it, it's it's darn near as fast as as the ninety one. So that's uh, competing with something like a ten eighty Ti, probably with eight gigs or a ten eighty. We don't really compete with the consumer cards. Uh, it would be more like a, a P, like the Quadro P5000, probably. Yeah. P4000, P5000. It's definitely not a Quadro or a Grand. Yeah, so an 8100, is that what it's called? WX8200. That's out now? It was announced a couple of days ago, and uh, it will be available uh, through systems integrators and the channel uh, within with very shortly. All right, sounds good. So, good weeks. Okay, so we've got a lot of cards here, the Thread Ripper, and uh, I guess have a really good presence here. So we're going to take a look at Radio Pro Render in a second, but uh, Adam, thanks a lot for like running us through these. Sure, yeah. Take a look. Yeah, let's run over here. Yum, yum!